Hello and welcome to my channel. They have Fundy Fortunes and I am an empath and intuitive reader. My name is Natalie and I am here to do a daily focus tarot reading for tomorrow, Saturday, June the 4th, 2016. Um, I have already cleansed my cards with my two Bay of Fundy rocks. As I say, a lot of tarot readers have to go into stores or wherever they go to buy cleansing rocks for their cards, and I don't. How lucky am I? Mine come right out of the Bay of Fundy, which is off the Atlantic Ocean in Upper Canada. Um, and uh, this is an energy rock given to me by a client a couple weeks ago. I did an in-house reading for her the very next day. She came back and brought me this energy rock. She felt much to give that to me. So I feel very appreciative and thankful that she did that for me. It's great for cleansing. And this is my Bay of Fundy rock that came right off the beach in our backyard. We're at a three-quarter mile beach here. And Lord knows how long that was rolling and tumbling around the ocean floor, bottom of the seabed, eons, centuries probably. But they don't come any cleaner than this one. They come right out of the pure, driven, cold Atlantic Ocean. Anyway, so I've cleansed my cards. I've asked the masters of the universe, the law of attraction, the, um, the spirit guides as well, to cleanse my cards and refresh the energy so we can start afresh. So there's nothing hindering or hang, hanging on behind. Um, well, let's just see what we've got here. I've already played out my cards. And the first card that I pulled was the Four of Cups. Now, for you, for those of you not familiar with the Cups, um, I will say that Cups always um, are representative of the home and hearth, the heart, your relationships, your love relationships, relationships with your family, with your friends, um, those that are closest to you. The heart also represents your dreams, your desires, your subconscious, um, love, happiness, your intuition. It is a water element as well. And the signs represented by the, the cups are Cancer, yours truly, I'm a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Now, this cup, the Four of Cups, represents boredom. That's something I don't experience too often. It's rare for me. I do not get bored. Okay, so the card, the advice, oh, I need my glasses here. I've made little notes on the back of the card, so I don't forget. This is, a, I should say, a brand new deck for me. And just to show you what I'm using here. Brand new. Very fitting for my channel and my reading business, because it is the Bay of Monday. And this is the Oceanic Tarot. And it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I love this deck. I love, 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 love it. Okay. Um, okay. So, the Four of Cups represents, and for them, as I said, the advice of this card is to look for inspiration, renew your faith, and life will bring you what you want. Well, that, that's all wonderful and good. Um, when the Four arrives, you, you, you're looking for better but you're feeling dissatisfied. Um, some of you are disheartened when it comes to affairs of the heart um, and love. Um, it's showing here that maybe you've lost your belief in what love is all about. How sad is that? We, we, don't, we don't want that. Um, you, could, you could be re retreating into, your, into yourself into your shell, we may say even. The key words are stagnant, that's not good. Despondent, oh, that's bad. Disillusionment, you're into self-protection mode. You have a need for change. You need to get rid of the rigidity and you're feeling some stubbornness there as well, okay? So, this being a water sign, and if you're a cancer, especially if you're a cancer, um, you have your little safety shell that you you um, you crawl into when you're feeling a little crabby pants, as they say, a little on the moody side. Leave me alone. Um, I need to go lick my wounds, these festering, horrible wounds. Um, uh, my heart feels heavy. My heart feels sad. 
I, I, I just want to be left alone. More times than not, with the water signs, they are, they're not mad at anybody else. It's, it's, um, life itself has given them a bit of a turn. Um, when we get a bit of a turn from life and fate and karma, um, we're emotional beings. Us water signs, we're all about emotions. Like the tides out here in the Bay of Fun Day when they come in, I sit here right in this very spot. This is my spot. Okay? This whole area, this little spot, the table, my laptop, my card. This is my world. And I can be having a bad day. I can be feeling a little bit down and want to go into my shell, and I do. But at the same time, all I have to do is see an incoming tide and a surf of attitude. Um, I do a lot of contemplating here about life. And I see what the tide does when it comes roaring in, and sometimes it roars part of the way out. Now, all of a sudden, it gets real, real quiet. And the tide is either sliding in or sliding out. And things get calm. And when that happens, I feel calm. And I feel my thoughts start to clear. So I guess what I'm saying is find your spot. Be it inside your shell. Be it inside a cave. Be it on sitting on a sandy beach, feeling the warmth of the sun um, under you, over you, beside you, and around you. If not, find your favorite spot. Everybody has a favorite spot. And sometimes we need to go there. It's a spot that's not shared with anybody. Sometimes it's a figurative spot where you go in your head, what they call your happy place. So we're looking at tomorrow of um, some instability, emotion-wise. Okay, so let me move on to the next card. We may delve back into the number four of cups again. The next card that I pulled for you, all 12 signs of the Zodiac, if I haven't said that already, is the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is a merboy. He's fantastic. And the Page of Pentacles is, um, let's see, opportunity. So during the, the middle part of the day coming, let's say around lunchtime, there's somewhere in around there, you may have opportunity come knocking on your door, okay? Um, because the page brings good news about finances, work, and education. He brings hope. If you have a wish, the wish is granted by his mere peasant presence. You may have pending job offers, or you may be starting new projects. And moving day could be for you tomorrow as well, for those of you that are moving, I'm sure. Out of all the signs and all the people in the world, somebody's moving tomorrow. That's just logical. And this card does portray and show that as well. The moving, maybe you're going to talk about moving tomorrow for some of you. Um, and if you do, this is going to be a fast move. It's not something that's going to take you six months to get around to actually doing. This is going to come quite quickly. It's still the first of the month. You could move anytime, at any given moment, literally pack up and start moving because something better is out there. Something you should always leave behind. One thing for something better. Whatever you leave behind and you're closing the door on, the trail before you should lead you to something better. For those of you moving, that, that could very well be and happen very, very quickly. Um... At this time as well, all 12, remember this is a general reading, all 12 signs of the zodiac for tomorrow. Keep a sharp eagle eye on any paperwork that seems to float under your nose. Um, a very sharp eye. Mistakes can happen, unintentional, and yes, this being reality, intentional. Be very, very careful. Um, whoever gives you the paperwork or however it comes, with a feeling of, don't worry about it, just sign it. No, no, no. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Go over it with a fine tooth comb, with a very critical eye. Look for things that could be wrong. This is, I always say, don't go looking for things that are wrong. In this case, yes, 
deliberately to set out, pick those papers up, and look for something wrong. And hopefully you won't find any. Nothing. It, 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 you know, you, you can't be... The guides are saying you can't be too careful in this case for some of you are going to catch some things that aren't going to sit well with you at all. Be diligent tomorrow for those of you that have to deal with any paperwork. The advice of this card is to look for offers and property with work there could be good changes on the horizon that's wonderful again check your contracts with a sharp eye everything's going to happen real fast all this is for tomorrow if it isn't for tomorrow some of it may extend into sunday or monday this is a snowball this is something you didn't see coming and bam whoops there it is as they say and it's going to come down around you. You're going to have to, somebody may come to you. That page, this page may come to you. Um, he's usually a younger male. I will give you that. Um, younger male by no older than 25 or 26 years old and beneath that age level will come to you and let you know about, maybe you heard, they heard something. Um, and they're thinking you might be interested in that. It might be something that's right up your alley. They may be talking about it insignificantly as well. They may be thinking, oh, did you hear about that that new business that's going up down the road? They're opening their doors up next week, and they're looking for managers and team leaders, and they're looking for analysts, and, and they're looking for supervisors. They're looking for agents. They're looking, and all of a sudden, bing, 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 bing. Here you are. Maybe you've just lost your job. You were laid off or your company closed, and that's where these bad feelings were coming with the Four of Cups. All right? Tuck that away now. Here's some opportunities. Karma's looking out. Spirits say, pay attention. Hello. We're looking out for you. Okay. Yeah, I get a little crazy when I read cards, but I think some of you really like it that way. Um, I'm a passionate person. What can I say? So when I see things like this pop up, I'm feeling this strong because I can feel myself flushing. And it's not embarrassing. It's, it's, it's exciting. Um that one door has closed on you so quickly and lo and behold this serendipitous moment it's a serendipity in action okay um here you are retreating in your shell oh dear what am i going to do i'm feeling unsatisfied i am worried i have had such high hopes for this job for this situation even um it could, may not be a job it could be something else um <clears throat> maybe you're looking at just making a move and it fell through. And maybe this young man is telling you about this great opportunity. Um, and he's not even bringing it to you per se. He's just talking about something he heard about, something he's seen. And the serendipity part is he just came and he's just talking off the top of his head. And through all that, you find this opportunity that you weren't expecting. Okay, um, the key words for this card are money, messages, listen up when people are talking, luck, communication, confidence, and optimism. That's what's going to happen for a lot of you tomorrow. You're going to start off your day feeling despondent and bewildered and a loss of faith and hope. But by the time this young person comes along, that's all going to change. Your hope is going to the first thing. First thing, your hope is going to be restored. Okay? And you're going to think, well, hold on a minute. Maybe not all is lost here. i got to check this out. This is, uh, this is fantastic. It's extraordinary. As the Brits would say, it's brilliant. Just brilliant. Let's move on to the last card because I'm yammering on here again. And this is... The King of Cups. I like the look of this guy. And the key word with him is understanding. Okay? Understanding is fantastic. Just look at him. Ah, oh, he's amazing. I love him. I love him. The King has integrity and honor and sensitivity. He's devoted to his friends, his family, and career. He is loyal to a fault. He is loyal for life. He's sometimes distant, 
but you feel everything deeply, and you just may not show it. This is this is the you card. Oof, this is you. You're watching this video. This card. This card is you, and then for you. The king is here to indicate balance. You're searching for a balance, of course. He has empathy with others. He has fairness. And if this isn't you, guess what? He's the ideal mate and partner. He's ideal. That's a big word. Small word with a lot of meaning. A lot of meaning. The advice of the card is to follow your, emo your emotions. You have no need to explain how you feel. And you could trust that you are correct and you are right. Okay? And the key words for him are fairness, empathy, sensitivity, sensitivity loyalty, and honor. So that if this isn't you, this is somebody in your day tomorrow on Saturday. June the 4th for all signs of the zodiac. This is someone you'll encounter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, this could be the person that you're going to be in contact with tomorrow because of this guy. This is going to be the guy you run to. It's going to be the guy that um, is going to be very strongly linked to what the message this boy brings, this young man. <clears throat> okay, so you start your day off tomorrow feeling despondent, no hope at all, feeling disillusioned, dissatisfied, no belief of even a better love, no belief in a good job, you retreat into your shell, you're feeling stagnant, despondent, disillusioned, you feel self-protection coming over you, but you do feel a need for change. You need to get rid of the rigidity and the stubbornness. You need to look for inspiration and renew your faith. And life will bring you what you need, okay? So it starts out kind of bad, um, kind of lost. Maybe it's a cloudy, rainy, dismal Saturday morning. And by lunchtime, you're in the presence of this page and he's the page of wands of pentacles he's the page of pentacles and pentacles are all about work money how you see yourself and how others see you it's about material possessions and security it's the earth element and you may encounter a virgo capricorn or taurus that is representative it might be the young man here okay he's going to be a virgo capricorn or a taurus and just off the cuff, he's just talking about all kinds of things. And you're picking up on keywords. And as I say, it's a serendipitous foundation, a fi finding um, that's going to lead you to this guy. All right. Somebody that you could trust. Okay. Somebody that has honor and integrity. And this word is his bond. So this is, these are wonderful things. All these Look, I, oh, I'm just getting the nudges. Um, I see you smiling by the end of the day. Okay? Now, to end this, I'm not doing the numerology that I would normally do. What I've done is, there's another deck of cards that I bought recently, and it's simply called the Tarot. It's simply called the Tarot. And for this, these are brand new cards. So my book's... And my other little guides are very, very handy to me here. What I pulled for you, okay, with the Five of Cups. And there it is. The Five of Cups. And again, I explained already what cups are all about. They're a water element. And you can see the water in the background. They're a water element. 
and I'm going to read from the book. I'll just keep that up there, the Five of Cups. This card represents loss, regret, denial in varying degrees. It could be tangible to break up of a relationship or intangible, loss of an opportunity. This can also warn you of forthcoming loss and help to reduce its toll. So you've been forewarned, okay? That's something for the small part of you, because this is a general reading, the small part of you, um, a small part of you, small amount of you have gone through a breakup and you have every reason and every right to be feeling the way you feel. Pulling back, holding in, shunning yourself away from the world. We all need that time to gather our thoughts. This boy here, he's going to come along over the weekend and he's going to shake your tree, shake your jello tree. Um, you know what? Sometimes we go through breakups and it's the closing of one door that can open another. And the door that's opening, the serendipitous door that's opening through this young man is going to be your faith and your hope. It's going to give you a bit of rejuvenation. And you know what? The breakup, the separation, the ending of any relationships for some of you tomorrow. Put that away. And this guy here, indirectly. You gotta love that. It's indirectly. He's a citizen. As a newborn baby, he has no idea what he's yammering on about. Well, he does, but it's hearsay and stuff he heard about. And for some reason, it's going to shake your jello tree. And it's going to really give you this zest, this zoom for life. It's going to pass through you and go, there's something I always wanted to do. There's a place I always wanted to go. Maybe this was meant to be. And I have nothing holding me back right now and nothing holding me down. I'm a free spirit because of that breakup, that separation, the ending of a relationship. All because of this, which was devastating, absolutely devastating because of him. And here's your guy, here's your go-to guy, almost like you'd say Confucius. Here's your go-to guy. He's not gonna steer you wrong. You're very lucky. You're very lucky, all signs of the Zodiac, to have somebody like this in your corner. Okay, I've gone on for 22 minutes for a daily reading. I still say that's too long, but I never know when to close the pile and move it on from there. I wish you all the best for tomorrow. If you like this video, right down below, you just click, 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 like, click and share. Share Facebook, Twitter with your friends and your family and subscription is free click that little red button says subscribe that's all free all it's there for is so the next time if you like this video and you want to see more down the road the next time i post anything it will give you a tiny little email notification saying bay of fundy fortune has posted a new video and you can stop by and check it out to your convenience anytime you like so tomorrow saturday and we're supposed to get a lot of rain over the next four days so i think that rain is a good thing it's good for um, quieting things down, resting, contemplation, and you, you, you on the other hand, you're, you're going to be excited and full of life. It could, there could be a blizzard and it's not going to stop you. So your day is going to be almost like a manic thing, <laughs> almost like a bipolar thing. You're going to start out pretty miserable, end of the world. How will I get through this to all of a sudden all this door's been kicked open and there's all these fantastic brilliant opportunities laying at your feet all signs of the zodiac from my heart to yours from my head <laughs> to yours i wish you all the very best namaste good luck and i wish you just the most wonderful saturday thanks a lot and please stop back soon again goodbye